It all began with a call for help. A letter from Borgovia addressed to Van Helsing. The great monster slayer, my father. He doesn't take cases anymore, but I am a hunter too. So I set off on a journey with Lady Katarina, my remarkable companion. I'm an expert on the supernatural, and I seem to be drawn to it. Occasionally events get out of control, and then we have to leave in quite a hurry. Sometimes it's Katarina's fault. She can be quite reckless at times. Still, she always helps me save the day. And she also happens to be a ghost. My father rescued her from Borgovia, and she has been bound to serve our family ever since. Katarina often complains about it, but I think she really likes the thrill of the adventure. She is a charming soul, but she also has a darker side. Good. It comes in helpful when I'm in danger. Somewhere along the way, we slowly learned to work together. And finally, in the cold rain of Venice, we became a team. The last leg of the journey was by sea. Apart from the crack and the pirates and the storms, it was mostly uneventful. I had time to ponder my mission. Once, Borgovia was a dark place where monsters lived. Long ago, my father defeated the immortal kings, created a peace treaty, and entrusted the land to some enlightened individuals. What could have happened there? What could be even more frightening than the reign of monsters? The closer we drew to Borgovia, the more confusing the rumors became. The land behind the Thunderhead Mountains was wrapped in mystery. As our carriage approached the mountain pass, I had a sense of foreboding. It didn't really surprise me when I heard an explosion. The adventure has just begun. How did he survive that? Katarina, shouldn't you help Get me out him. with this? Please, they are just some ragged outlaws. See, it wasn't that difficult, was it? So this is how they welcome folk around here? Yes. Why? It is an ancient and venerable tradition.
That was... stupid. I'm impressed, actually. They do have a sense of theatrics. We could still fly over the chasm. Really? Oh, right. Uh, sometimes I forget how human you are. We should follow the normal pathway there.
Look, a domovoy with a bag full of treasure. What's the matter with him? He looked like he'd seen a ghost. No, don't blame this on me. You started chasing him. Strangers will swallow us all. in the woods. woods. I want the hat. No sign of a decent thing. Why would you need an inn? You're a ghost. So I'm supposed to spend the rest of my nights among the trees like a peasant girl who got lost in the woods. I'd love the idea. Thank <laughs> you. 
stop right there. Easy, lad. We're friends here. They all say that. But I won't let in any dangerous feeds on my watch. No, sir. How dare you? I'm going to tear you apart. And then I'll teach you some manners. No, I, I didn't mean you, my lady. The undead nobility of Borgova are always welcome to haunt here. But you, with the Van Helsing hat, we don't like your sword here. With your weapons and bad manners, I... I'm a monster hunter. Of course you are. Or you are just a troublemaker. Oh, you don't have to worry about my uh, servant. I keep him on a short leash. Katarina. Thank you, my lady. You can pass. And your manservant, too. We'll talk about this later. Fine. Don't even thank me. Be a guard, they said. The monsters are peaceful now, they said. I really should have married the mayor's daughter. I wish I was at the tavern now. Move along. You're slowing down the line. I said that you can enter the village. The gate is open. What are you waiting for? 